Hi there, this is Lisa Gloria, and today I'm going to be showing off and showing how I polish my silver collection. These are all props that I use for painting, and they're all silver plate that I've collected over the years, and they all could really use a polish. Now, I really like the patina, but for instance, on this fluted bowl, it's so dark around the outside that you can barely tell it's silver. And on this bowl, it actually starting to look a little bit more like copper, as a friend of mine just pointed out. So today I'm going to be cleaning up some of these pieces. Here we go. So what I've got here is um, some Scotchgard silver polish with tarnish shield. It you can also use, I mean, you can use any kind of silver polish, but what I wanted was something that was going to give me a little bit, a little bit of a coating that would keep it from getting tarnished again really fast. It seems like every time you polish your silver, it goes ahead and gets patina on it faster than the last time that you polished your silver. Here is a necklace that I just restored. It was as dark as this. And now it looks uh, pretty good. You want to make sure that you rinse these really well. Let them dry. Um, buff it with a separate cloth. And then check it again for dull spots or haze. Because that means you didn't uh, rinse it very well. And I'll be wearing this in a few days. So hopefully it will still look amazing at that point. So I've got my tarnish shield. I'll put a link to this down in the description of the video. Not um, an affiliate link, just this is what I use, but you can use kind of anything that you want. The only thing that I would recommend against is that liquid that's used for jewelry um, is very, very harsh and has no protective coating whatsoever. So I don't use that. I have a cotton rag. Uh, this is... <laughs> This is the evidence of everything that I pulled off of the necklace that I just did. See, it's pretty grody. All that black stuff is tartish. And then I have another rag. This is a microfiber towel to use for buffing. So, take your rag. This is a water-based um, tarnish remover. Get some goop on there. It smells kind of grody. But not like it ain't gonna I ain't gonna die and then you have to put a, a bit of muscle into it but you can see already it's taken off majority of the, the ick and there it is right there on the towel I'm gonna repeat this for the whole After using the tarnish shield, you have to rinse it off and rinse it off real good. Give it about two to five minutes, the instructions say, to dry. And then use another cloth to buff. This is a microfiber cloth, so I wanted this to be pretty dry because, as you probably know, microfiber cloths don't absorb water very well. So I'm just going to give it a buff inside and outside all the crevices. To leave it with a pretty nice shine. I didn't get all of the tarnish spots off of here and I'm not even sure that it's possible to have something this heavily tarnished come all the way back unless at some point you know you started really caring for it before it was beyond salvation but as a painting prop I like it I, I like the variegation in color and the dimension it's not you know it's not for company so ta-da polar silver look for this in my next bowl of fruit all right have a great day happy new year bye don't forget to click like and subscribe <laughs> which I forget to say every time, like and subscribe. Okay.